they're helping to break the gender barrier. These are six of the top 15 females chosen to represent Afghanistan in a global robotics competition. At first, though, they were banned from coming. Since our visas were refused two times, our message to the groups that come after us will be that they should never be disappointed. If the first or even the second time visas are getting refused, they should always work hard in order to achieve their goal and not give up. The robotics team arrived in the United States on Saturday. It's been reported U.S. President Donald Trump personally intervened. It's very good to support such initiatives and to assure the Afghan people and people around the world that U.S. is in, uh, you know, in support of such good causes. Only teams from Afghanistan and the Gambia were denied visas. The U.S. Embassy in Kabul did not disclose why it rejected the Afghan team. Uh, we're so interested because uh, we uh, find a big chance to show the talent and ability of Afghans, show this that Afghan women can make robots too and can improve in this, uh, uh, in this section, it means in robotic section. The team is entering a ball-sorting robot. And for three days, they'll be facing competitors from almost every country in the world. And these young women are hoping their work will help inspire the next generation of female engineers. Chelsea Carter, TRT World.